how's it going everyone? This is Channel Trainer 1030 and today I thought I would bring you all my top 5 Pokemon that I think could possibly have its own sea day in the month of May 2021. Do keep in mind that this is my list and my prediction. So when we do this video, I'm going to break down the top 5, I'm going to give my thoughts on it, etc. But first before I get into it, I do really mention that if you have already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and both chance to win a special giveaway. If you're new and not familiar with it, if my channel reaches 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to pick a winner to receive in its own switch. Also, that person's choice, Pokemon Sword or Shield with the expansion pass. Other thing is that if my channel reaches 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to pick a winner to receive a big special prize, which is up to you guys as to what it should be. More details will be at the end of the video. Be sure to check out how much numbers go by sharing with their friends finish video or for sure they appreciate it. So with all that being said, let's go and get into it. Now, starting with number five, we got Pikachu. I know a couple of you guys are gonna comment below saying that there's no way we're gonna do that. Nancy has never recycled a Pokemon. Well, do remember guys that we had a Charmander C Day that got recycled, which was that was boring by the way. And there are other Pokemon that had us vote for, but unfortunately they didn't make it though. So with Pikachu having its own C Day, probably the exclusive move would be Volt Tackle because that was from the previous games, and it would be nice to see it in the actual game itself. Now if that happens, then basically with the, the 2K, the players have a chance to be able to hatch themselves a shiny Pichu, which would be super helpful and really nice for a lot of players to access to. So that is likely though, we'll just see. That is why Pikachu, I believe, deserves to be in the number 5 spot. Getting to number 4, got Dino. Yeah, this is a Pokemon that a lot of players are struggling to find because it is very rare and also the shiny itself. So having its own CD will make players a lot more happy, build an access to shiny, and also High Dragon C move will probably be like a dragon type kind of thing, like Draco Meteor or something, blow the sea. And that is why Dino, I believe, deserves to be in the number four spot. Getting to number three, got ourselves a Chansey. So apparently, by the time of this video, there's rumors going around that Chansey could have his own C day. I doubt it, but we'll have to see. Anyways, with uh, Chansey here, it'll be kind of interesting. And if it does happen, though, then that means that with the 2K egg, same thing like I said with the Pikachu, you have a chance to build a hatch a shiny Happiny, which a lot of players are struggling to get themselves a shiny Happiny, and it'll be super helpful. As for the uh, CD move for the Blessy, probably a, either a fairy type move a, or a very powerful normal type move that we haven't seen yet. So that is why Chansey, I believe, deserves to be in the number three spot. Now getting into number two, Starly. So it's been in the game's coding for a pretty long while that it could have its own CD. I think it's Shiny Family are not too bad, and if that does happen, that means it'll be the second Pokemon, a flying type device, to get its own C Day. As for what Star Raptor will be able to learn, probably a really good flying type move. But there's a lot of possibilities as to what Star Raptor will learn. So that is why Starly, I believe, deserves to be in the number two spot. Now getting to number one, we got ourselves Axu. Yeah, a lot of players are begging Niantic to give Axu its own CD because Haxorazis as a shiny, it is really good. And I am I can't complain about that. So as for the CD, what Haxorus will learn, probably most likely, like I said, with the Dino, like with the uh, High Dragon, probably a Dragon type move. Something we have not seen yet in the game. So do I think it's gonna be very competitive meta that happens? Uh we'll have to see. So that is why I believe Axu deserves to be in the number one spot. So that is pretty much all I'm going to cover for today's video. The first video is give you all my prediction. I told you about it. I get thoughts on it, etc. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on Eric over here. What's your prediction on the next C day? What uh of moves do you think we'll see? Let me know. I appreciate it. Hope you all did enjoy today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give you a thumbs up. Check my channel, subscribe bell for more gameplay videos, and I will see you all in the next video.